Domino Enterprise MLOps platform is trusted by 20% of Fortune 100 companies and many Global 2000 enterprises. They've chosen Domino because the value of their data science teams is measured by the number of models they're able to get into production, and Domino helps them get more models into production faster. Over the years, our platform has been designed to address the unique needs of large enterprises doing advanced data science and machine learning. We worked with our customers to identify three key contributors to slowing down model production. What we've found is that most data scientists lack self-serve access to tools and infrastructure. They lack standardization and automation of processes to take models from development to production. In a lot of enterprises, DevOps has been implemented for traditional development, but not yet for data science code. And most data science teams can't collaborate, reproduce, and reuse work because they're working in disparate systems. These range from proprietary cloud vendor technologies to home-built solutions to IDEs on local laptops. What you'll see in this demo is how Domino addresses all three of these challenges with a centralized open platform. Now let me show you how Domino works to turbocharge your data science teams. To solve the first challenge of infrastructure friction, Domino automates all of the DevOps tasks required for research and deployment of data science work. This includes provisioning elastic compute resources and managing self-serve sandboxes with different tools and software. This is the Domino platform. It runs on Kubernetes so it can live on any public or private cloud. When I launched the UI, I logged in using my SSO. Let's say you've been tasked with building a model to determine a customer's risk of churning. The first thing you'll need is a development environment. You'll notice that Domino supports any development tool that you want to use, as well as a variety of distributed compute frameworks. From older vendor technologies like SAS and MATLAB, to new open source frameworks like Spark, Ray, and Dask, most complex data science projects require multiple of these frameworks for different stages of the project. With Domino, it can all be done from a single platform. Domino is the only open tool and language agnostic MLOps platform. We know the ecosystem is innovating rapidly, so we built a future-proof solution. As new tools come out, they can be easily added in. With a couple of clicks, you get a dev workspace with your desired hardware and software, and even a variety of compute clusters. Under the hood, Domino has provisioned all the resources, created a Docker image with the desired tools and software, and linked your files and data sources. Domino does this elastically in the cloud and will spin down resources when work completes to save you compute costs. For this project, I've chosen a Jupyter Lab notebook and have attached a Ray cluster with GPUs to speed up model training. Not sure if any of you have ever set up a Spark or Ray cluster, but it can be a huge time investment and learning curve. You get stuck with the no-win choice of either becoming an expert or finding and having to rely on one. Not the type of stuff a data scientist should be focusing on, and a big slowdown to model development. Domino does all of the IT work for you. Without having to know anything about cloud, Kubernetes, or compute frameworks, you now have all the tools and power to start building your customer churn model. IDEs are great for writing and testing your code, but once that's done, it's time to train and tune your model. Domino's Experiment Manager gives you the ability to execute many experiments in parallel and to track and organize your work. Jeff Bezos once said, what you really want to do is maximize the number of experiments you can do per given unit of time. This is exactly what the experiment manager was designed to do. It gives you the same ability as the workspace to select your infrastructure, including compute clusters, and scale up as needed so your runs can complete effectively. The ability to dynamically spin up and spin down compute clusters as needed eliminates the challenges that come from shared compute clusters. Waiting in a queue for your job to run or having it slow to a crawl because other users have overloaded the system can be very frustrating to say the least. 
As you experiment, the Domino Experiment Manager keeps track of all your results and the full set of inputs required to reproduce them, the code, data, Docker image, parameters, etc. It versions automatically, allowing you to easily compare results from one run to the next. This is also important if you need to be able to explain your model for regulatory compliance purposes. You can also tag and comment your runs to better keep track of the results and determine which configuration scored the best. Now that you've built and tuned your model, you will likely run into the second major challenge, which is the lack of standardization and automation of processes to take models from development to production. Productionization of a model generally means putting your model into a consumable format like an app or API, getting it hosted somewhere, and if it's part of a production system, it needs to be scalable and monitored. We see a lot of companies having challenges at this stage. They don't have repeatable processes, let alone any automation, and have to rely on a handoff between a data scientist and someone on an ops team. This can cause the longest delay in getting value from a model, since sometimes even the code needs to be refactored to be able to be supported. To streamline this process, the Domino platform allows data scientists to self-publish their models as APIs, Docker containers, applications such as Dash or Shiny, or schedule jobs for batch scoring or report generation. From the Domino UI, you can create and test your APIs. You can track the versions, and you can scale the APIs accordingly by choosing the number of instances and the sizes of the resources that you want to use. You can control how your model can be invoked and even create access tokens. You can publish and scale an app just as easily by choosing from a set of configurations, including who can have access. No need to learn Kubernetes or involve any other teams. Once published, the app is able to be consumed by the business owners who tasked you with solving the problem in the first place. This has greatly improved the ability for our customers' data science teams to be responsive and more directly add value to the business. Now that you've published your model into production, it should be monitored to ensure it continues to make accurate predictions. Here's the monitor that was created for your customer churn model. Domino monitors models for data drift and will let you know if production data is no longer compatible with the data that was used for training. It also monitors model quality by comparing predictions to ground truth. If a model is no longer performing well, you can be alerted and easily retrain and republish. At Domino, we believe that MLOps should cover the entire life cycle of your model from ideation to monitoring and production. The efficiencies gained by self-service development tooling and model publishing have been shown to greatly improve the speed at which our customers can get models to production. However, ask any of them and they'll tell you that the third major challenge that Domino solves for is a force multiplier. This challenge is the inability for teams to collaborate effectively and compound knowledge. How many times have you started a project only to find much later on that there's someone from another team currently working on the same or very similar problem? It probably would have been better to collaborate instead of reinventing the wheel. Take your churn project, for example. Since you created it in Domino, it's now searchable and becomes part of the institutional memory of the company. Other teams that are tasked with a similar problem can now search, find, and build off your work. Let's say a team is doing research on customer sentiment. They can search for the term and they'll find the comment that you put in one of your run results. From here, they can trace lineage all the way back to that specific run. They get access to all the details of that run, including the code that was run, the data that was run against, and even the parameters that were used to configure it. They also get access to the run results. This is enough information for this team to know if they'd be able to accelerate their own project by forking your code instead of starting from scratch. Unfortunately, even if you do have a central place to find and fork code, this doesn't mean another team will be able to get your code running properly. 
If you didn't add all the prereq steps to reproduce your environment in a very easy to follow readme, they'll likely end up spending a lot of time fighting errors and maybe even give up on your code. Imagine if, instead of writing readmes, you could just share your laptop with your colleagues so everything that works for you will simply work for them. In Domino, you can. Since development environments live on the platform, once you've created and tuned your development environment, it can then be replicated by collaborators on the same project or by different teams in the future. They can even have the benefit of your tuned environment but still choose their preferred IDE. This is unique to Domino and is a customer favorite. As you can imagine, the ability to collaborate and compound knowledge to this extent can be a force multiplier and no other solution solves this as well as Domino. To recap, I showed how Domino gives data scientists self-serve access to tooling and compute resources to keep their teams focus on building models instead of IT functions. I then showed how a model can get from creation to being published and monitored in production with just a few clicks. This eliminates the friction that can exist between data scientists and operations teams. And last, I showed how data scientists can find, reproduce, and build off of existing work to stop reinventing the wheel and collaborate on model creation. There's also a bonus benefit for data science leaders. As data scientists become far more productive using Domino, data science leaders will now have full visibility to keep track of all of the ongoing projects. They can see how much each project is costing the company, as well as the status of all projects and models in production. What makes Domino so powerful and why it accelerates research for large data science teams is that it combines self-serve infrastructure with collaboration and knowledge management. Data scientists love working in Domino because it automates their DevOps work and lets them use the tools they already know. That's the carrot that incentivizes working in a central place. Then, when data scientists work in Domino, Domino can automatically capture their work so it's discoverable, reusable, and reproducible. In this way, Domino is both a portal to self-serve data science infrastructure and a system of record for your team's work. And this is why Domino customers get more models into production faster.